Alright, what is going on my Soze Gamers? I'm Commander in Chief, Wars on 5-7, and welcome back to more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Sorry I've been away from my channel for a minute, but about two months. Had to put my channel on hold and on hiatus, because I was still dealing with some stuff from my job, and I'm still practicing for the ASVAB for next month. And so in April, I will actually be going to the National Guard. But since I have a little bit of free time, I'm going to do what I can on this channel. Um, just want to let you guys know, I do have a second channel that I just started up. It's pretty much my name, Nicholas Dennis. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'll pretty much be doing reactions, um, live doc, uh, documentations of what's going on in my life, things I kind of want to get off my chest. Or just kind of go through some of these videos that I can kind of dissect from my own opinion and know and have a another community started on my secondary channel where people are able to voice their opinions they shouldn't be you know uh, berated or discarded acting like like these people on this side don't give a shit about me so I'm not gonna care about them I don't want that so I kind of want everybody to be on that channel or even on this channel to speak their mind and tell me what do you guys think about certain topics what do you guys want me to review? What do you guys want me to react to? That's one of the big things I want to do is reactions. Not because I'm trying to, you know, go inside like the little bandwagon that everyone's going for. You know, I do it because it looks fun. It looks entertaining. And I'm not just going to be reaction doing reactions. I'm also going to be doing some challenges like try not to laugh, try not to cringe, try not to cry, which should be easy. But seeing how of a softy I kind of am. And I'm trying to get away from that so I don't get absolutely destroyed in basic training. I'm going to do that. So if you guys have any tips or any ideas on where I could potentially start, I would really appreciate it. My channel is going to be in the link in the description below. And I'll also put one in for the comment section just in case you guys don't see it. And... I have to say, for a novice of this game, I feel like for this video I did pretty well. Because I'm getting to understand and love games from from software. Because I, they kind of teach you to be slow, methodical. Not to rush in. Try to figure out what uh, attacks can work for certain enemies and which ones don't. This one helps me out a little bit so I can kind of ease my weight back into the Dark Souls franchise. Just like playing... What was that game called? Jedi Fallen Order. Kind of helped me a little bit from playing this game. Or to, to play this game. Not from play this game. I'm sorry. I'm messing up on my words. But I've had I've been having a lot of fun playing it. And somewhere down the road, I really want to give Dark Souls 3 a try again. And then also going down towards Dark Souls Remastered and then doing Dark Souls 2. Because there's a story in there. I just got to get into it as much just to you know understand it that it comes to killing all these NPCs killing all these big mini and major bosses so for me to play a game like this it's not the same as Dark Souls but it's a small step in the right direction to help me actually get you know the feel of it so I'm, once again I'm gonna stop my ranting and let you guys get to the rest of the gameplay. Hope you all enjoy. Please check out my second channel. Let me know what you guys want to see on my second channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next battle log.
truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Such a strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. Goodbye. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more... Demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Quite the strange one, yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing.
Battle. Do you think it can be won? I fear we may not prevail. What? We'll be just fine. Look, Ishin may be sick, but he's still going strong. Genichiro is a terror with the bow. And of course, we have Giobu the demon. Ah, Giobu, of course. Good point. As long as he is with us, no man could ever breach the Ashina Castle gate. <laughs>
Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. You, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? I am not your son. There you go again, Inosuke. You always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hmm. Well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. Inosuke, my son! Have you offered the bell charm to Buddha? Have you tried the rundown temple with that stubborn sculptor in it? I'm sure you'll find Buddha there. Somebody there. Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami, a vassal of the Hirata family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha.
Hmm. Notice anything different? Yes. Like what? I died. The Divine Heir's voice reached out to me, and suddenly I was alive again. So you died, and now you're alive again. So that means it has to do with resurrection. Resurrection? Lord Kuro. It's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's dragon heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection. They are revived upon death, repeatedly. Impossible. Yes. It is rather strange, and yet, it is happening here and now. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. <sighs> Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. Oh, did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before, if only a little. Take this. What is it? Shinobi techniques. Recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. I can hear the ring ring of a bell chime. You mean, this old bell? An old woman asked me to offer it to Buddha. That bell? Have you seen it before? No. It is unfamiliar. It appears the bell disagrees. I think it's trying to tell you something. What? Give it as an offering. The kind-faced Buddha near the wall is different from the Buddhas I make. It was carved by the hand of the true sculptor. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. <laughs> 